Now what I'll do is I'll take it forward and this is the HANA modeler perspective which I'm working on. In this I have chosen this uh, HANA modeler perspective and I've landed here and uh, then in the add systems I'm adding a system which has already been there there. Uh, the system which we already have been shared. So first and foremost in this session I'd like to create a schema uh, and uh, you know, basically what exactly is the agenda of this uh, entire session is to uh, act, create attribute view analytical view or one simple attribute view analytical view and then you know uh, uh, present the data from the attribute view analytical view and in what business cases it will be used is something which we will discuss later but right now we will go ahead and create that but even before that we are creating a schema and schema based data so create schema from Aditya execute so this uh, schema has been created right click on the catalog and then filters in the filters I am just writing and if you have, we have this and right click on this and uh, import so, got, okay. so here we will go ahead with we'll select the schema go to the file click on this import then you will get this and in this option we will go for HANA content in the HANA content data model from local uh, select this server into which we want to download upload and then since we all know this process uh, well and we have done it couple of times I'm, I'm going a bit fast so here we'll go for browse and then in the documents we have this file uh, test.csv and uh, first row should be ignored because in first row we have the headings and then we'll go ahead with the schema schema name is uh, and table name is uh, say z test you, you, you don't even have to start with z but i'm just writing it out of habit so just z test and click on next and uh, then we have to map this uh, we we will select this uh, cost the for the cost we will select the type as amount creating it as integer and uh, fine so I'll create the customer number as a primary key and we have couple of fields here and uh, what I'll do is like I'll click on this finish because we have all the field names here just click on finish and uh, once it's been created uh, we can see that file table here open the tables and in this we'll have this file and uh, then we have this right click on this open data open data preview so we have this data here now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and create the package here down below in the content we're going to create a package so even before we start something we have to first create a package or if you already have a package you can make use of this so i'll create a package name as vikramaditya again and package for package got created here this is Vikramaditya package right click on it and create new attribute view so in the attribute view we will go for the zva underscore cust attribute for finish and uh, now we have to get some data in, uh, get some fields in this as you know attribute view can contain only characteristics pure characteristics and those are called attributes here so when you drag and drop this one here into this one field so you'll get all the fields you can select what are the fields that you want it to be in the attribute view so i'll go i'll select customer number customer name purchase uh, date of purchase is something which is a uh, 
which is a date actually, a date of purchase, cost, currency, quantity. These are all uh, something like numeric. So I'll create on, I'll select only these two and select the semantics. In the semantics, I'll select this customer number as a as a primary field. So this is a symbol for attributes. So you will not have any option to change it to measures because this is an attribute view. You can get only only attributes. So say OK and execute save and activate. So once you save and activate, uh, once it's been successfully saved and activated, then we can have a data preview. Open data preview. So in the in the data preview, you can see the data. Okay, actually there is no privilege to create this uh, uh, attribute view is what we have. Okay, so we have to go ahead and basically what happened here is whenever there is a new table that gets created, we need to actually give the uh, grant access. Okay, so um, now only when you grant the access to it, at, only once you have to write the grant access, then you can access that from the from the content level. Unless and until you create, you go for the grant access. Uh, you will not be able to do that. So what we need to do is we need to write that uh, code here. So I will just right click on this Vikramaditya, uh, open data preview. So we need to write this here. Since this is a new table, what we need to do is we need to write this grant access, grant select, grant select, grant select on schema. The schema name would be on schema, and the schema name would be the schema that we have created here, Vikramaditya. Two. SYS, SYS, uh, underscore SYS, underscore repo with grant option, with grant option. This is one thing which we have to execute at the schema base level. So this is a one time process. I will just uh, ping you in the chat as well. This is the one which we have to write. Okay. And then we have to execute this. space here and then execute so once it's successfully executed you will get a message like this that it is ex executed successfully this is executed successfully and now we can go ahead and uh, you know uh, uh, make use of this in the attribute view so let me go back to the attribute view here and in the attribute view we will have this whatever attribute view we are creating here here uh, now we have this attribute view can just go and select say ok and save and activate so once it's uh, once you save it and activate it once you, see, you click on this and you save and activate and once you click on save and activate, click on data preview. So when you click on data preview, you can you will get this screen here. And this is a one time process. Once you once you grant the access to that particular table, you can use it again and again.
So here we'll go for this output. There will be something called raw data. We can click on raw data. And if you click on raw data, the two fields will come here. This is what we have. Okay. So this is the data that we are able to see at the attribute view level. Now, now that we have built one simple attribute view, we'll also build one simple analytical view. So right click on this, uh, skip not pack, right click on the package and click on analytical view. For analytical view, we'll have slightly additional features. As you remember in the star schema, one fact table will be there and one, at least one dimension table should be there. So the fact table here would be, uh, uh, the fact table here would be with the measures. So, a test Now if you see, we'll have a star join and uh, we'll have these all options. So as I told you, it is mandatory for us to have at least one, uh, what do you call, uh, there should be at least one attribute view and one table to get this data here. So we'll go ahead and uh, select this attribute view, select this table, select it in the, put it in the data star foundation, star join. And then this table that we have here has to be kept in the data foundation. So you cannot have in data foundation, it is mandatory for us to have a, a measure. So what we'll do is we'll select all these things. Even if you, even if you select the characteristics, it will not throw any error, but technically speaking, it's always good to have the, what you call uh, uh, key figures or the, the numeric values here. It's always good to have the numeric values. I selected these fields and uh, we'll go to the star join. In the star join, you can see that we have to uh, join this to so we have this data foundation, then we have this dimension. So, data foundation happens to be the what we call our uh, fact table. So, I have to select the common field between these two. The common field happens to be the customer number. So I've selected that and uh, now we will save this and uh, save this and then we go for activate it. So once the activation is done successfully, so we have to go to the semantics. Semantics is very important. In semantics, if you see, every field can be now made as either attribute or measure. Now you have got the option. You have got the option because this is an analytical view and in analytical view, we can have characters uh, and key figures both. That's the reason it will be like this. Now we have to go ahead and uh, select these fields. These are all automatically taken as a measure now. So, and now what we need to do is we need to if you would like to change any of these attributes to key figures, key figures to attributes, you can do it actually. But otherwise, we can just proceed. Say OK. So it's activated now. data and we get this data here. Yeah. So this is the data that we are getting at the analytical view. So this is the process of we understanding the very basics of attribute view and analytical view. So what we did is uh, in this project we created the schema and table but if you already have them there is no need of creation, creation of them. You can just go ahead and uh, activate this and uh, that's it. So we created a schema, we created a table 
and then we gave the access to the uh, table by writing the logic the logic was uh, you know um, the sql code grant select on schema and remarked to s s underscore sys underscore repo is a standard one with grant option that's it so if you write that logic then you can access the data into the attribute and analytical view level so we created a package and then created attribute view analytical view and then we have seen the data there this is what we have